Hello. Hello. How goes it? Good, good. The long anticipated sorcerer album. Yeah, yes. Oh, I I should be wearing my sorcerer shirt. Well, when Justin comes Loser. on. Loser. I don't know if you saw the post, uh, Kern uh shared our review of the i didn't see that post yeah 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 oh i didn't I mean, see that he shared it i, I saw yeah he shared it the, well because youtube blocked it and he wrote. couldn't get it unblocked so i just sent it to him did you it appeal Vimeo. i had no grounds to appeal i had no no like no proof nothing you know well. it's like i i have proof but it doesn't mean that they will bypass it like on youtube yeah uh, yeah I know. No, so you, you, you guarantee there was no it. human involved in that it was all how, that I mean, was all are, automated yeah and how are these live reactions of other people getting out you know i mean people have had made whole careers yeah you know doug helvering but, listens to entire albums and right right i don't understand what i don't understand what's the difference yeah of yeah. big bands you know of I don't know. <laughs> well I um well our finality thing almost How didn't do they do come it? through because that that also had a a block on YouTube, and I'm like fuck. Um, so I it took Joe Katie about three about four days to get it unblocked, so um, and that finally went out. So he, he they are able to do that, um and and Curran owns the copyright. I mean, seventy two legions is his band, it's his label kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, he, uh, we we clearly have permission for this. I, I, exactly, that's the whole <laughs> thing. But he he you know he he technologically i don't think was able to to get there so i emailed kelly martin at metal blade told her what we were doing and i said i'm not sure if this is going to be a, an issue with you know copyright i said but can you please make sure that it's taken care of because i said we're going to be releasing this on the 27th when the album comes out and because justin said um you know that's fine because the they'll be the, the whole album will be on youtube so there shouldn't be an issue. So but... fair use, like I'm looking at it now, it says, um, yeah, content creators may still create reaction videos that are protected by fair use by mm -hmm. providing additional jokes, narration, criticisms, graphics, and or editing for the original uh, copyrighted videos. Which we Especially, do. Yeah. Yeah. We stop and we talk about every, yeah, every exactly. song at the end of the songs. I don't yep. know if it's a matter of we don't stop enough, like we let too much time elapse. I don't know. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? Like, I have no idea how this thing works. I don't know about you, but those first two tracks were fantastic. I only listened to the, the one. Two. I, I really didn't. I, oh, I, 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 I couldn't I, wait. I, I couldn't oh, wait. Oh, man, you suck. Oh, Come they're on. so no, good. No willpower. Well, I didn't think we were supposed to not listen to them. No, I just <laughs> listened to the one like we did last time. The first thing I went, like the because I heard the one song that Mark had sent me. So, you know, no, I don't mind. I mean, we have two tracks. We 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 have a you have a taste of it. Um, oh yeah, and the, it tastes good. Oh good, mm -hmm. it's All very right. tasty. Well, I guess we should probably uh, do this thing, huh? Let's do this thing. Do your cheese. All Slice right. your cheese. <laughs> it's the best cheese in the world. Cut the cheese. Hey guys, this is Glenn from Volcana, and you're listening to Heavy Metal Horror. I am Montag, master of illusion. What goes up must come down, but not always. And I am Dread Bull. And tonight's going to be magical. Because Get no it? Chop Top. I mean, oh, and, that too. That too. Yes. Oh, and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, right. From Sorcerer, one of our favorite mm -hmm. bands, Rainbow one Reaper. But, favorite but, bands. but we got to do our intro. But, and you are watching and listening to. Well, that's right. <gasps> I got too excited. <laughs> yes. Metal. Metal. Excitement. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, kitty kizzies. Kitties, kitties. Um, you stoned. <laughs> you, you found out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I am quite stoned a little bit. Uh, huh. Helps with the music. I was suspicious, and then you confirmed it with your <laughs> slurring of words. So, all righty. Well, well, you're in the right state to listen. I am to in the right metal. state. Yes, yes. Uh, hey, this is the new Sorcerer album. It's dropping today. 
That's right. Today, um, it's called Reign of the Reaper. And we've been blessed with a copy so that we could listen to it, give you a taste, and let you know what we think about it as well. Great title, um, by the way, and an yeah. amazing cover art on that damn thing. It's phenomenal. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's awesome. So. Um, big shout out to Justin Biggs, bass player extraordinaire for Sorcerer, uh, for giving us yeah, this man. advanced copy. And thanks to Kelly Martin at Metal Blade as well. Appreciate her and Metal Blade's support for Heavy Metal Horror. Um, so... God, we we met Sorcerer through Heavy Metal Horror. It seems like forever ago. Um, they came on, we interviewed them, and it's just like we just became friends, just fast friends, uh, which is just so really cool. It's not going to influence our review. No, we already like these guys, so I, you know, whatever. We don't have to fake it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, Sorcerer is a great band. We love their music, and uh, we are all very excited about this new album um mm -hmm. yeah so let's see i'm going to uh get this ready share this screen <clears throat> yeah all right uh this is the first track um this is also the single that came out a few weeks ago oh they released the first two tracks i see okay oh i see i've not listened to track two so that's that's oh, good yeah it's a good one yeah yeah so here we go reign of the reaper Track one, this is Morning Star. So I'm to get that militant kind of a uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. Reminiscent of uh, Operation Minecraft. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. You're right. I was in here yeah, to yeah Anarchy Now one. or whatever it is, Anarchy yeah. X. Yeah. But the guitars, there's a there's a little bit of uh, maiden s as to it, yes. like Seventh Son. Yeah, we're getting the buff. You know if I'm right, guys. Yeah. Good opener. Good heavy driving beat. Yeah. Really get you pumping. I've heard here, and this sounds phenomenal. This is a band that gets better with it. Hard to define for some It's melodic, it's boomy, yeah. you know, aggressive. Kind of everything that I love. Yeah. You know, and their themes are dark. And, you know, and some of the best choruses of any band like they get in your head they're real like they, they write really catchy choruses they're gonna end up singing for days in your head Great song to open a show with too. You know, yeah, we can get the crowd yeah. into it. I think the last tour they did, they opened up with Hammer the Witches. Yeah. Oh, that's good. My mom likes that song. <laughs> I'm showing all these bands. You like Sorcerer? Does she can understand what he's singing? Yeah. She likes the, likes the guitar. I know with Justin, I think Justin the majority of the lyrics are not all of them. Wow, did he? I know, I know it, a lot of this stuff is guiding his identity. So, lyrically, you know, thematically. I 
like the guitar in the background there. Yeah. Yeah. It has a little more of a, a melodic theme to the chorus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. The chorus is quite melodic theme there. Yeah. This range is good. Everybody as good as lamenting of the innocent. Uh, I love lamenting of the innocent. That's all we have. That's not all my game. I asked Justin, I said, bring the whole band. The nice solo guys. I, I think he stepped up his guitar uh, work a notch too in this album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is an impressive solo right there. I think that one was Christian and this is Peter right here. I think this section. Okay. It, it, judging from the video. Okay. Like, yeah. Boston Vegas would love that train thing right here. Yeah, train thing. They would have loved that. Couldn't break it down to a Speaking to my soul, the little black charred remains yeah. of it. Now, have you watched the video? Yeah. Is it? Is Justin doing these death metal vocals? Is that I him in the video? Know. Then doing I don't know. Metal? I have to watch it carefully. Yeah. That'd be I can't cool. Tell if that's him or not? Singing the death metal part, or if that's someone else that looks kind of like him. It's kind of well, hard to tell in the guys, video. Guys, when you watch it, let us know. In the comments. I'd be really impressed if Jason and Justin is doing all the death metal work. Yeah. I love that sort of dark, satanic choir vocal yeah. there, you know? Right. What a great track to open this album, you mm -hmm. know. Um, it's got I'm guessing everything it's... that Sorcerer, it's, it's got a, a little bit of everything that they do well. You know, that great melodic chorus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some nice, a do, nice doom section. Yeah, uh, the halftime, the time changes, the co complex, and, and the uh, again, the, the hook, the chorus, that's memorable. It's, it's mm -hmm. like soaring. It, yes. It's very emotional. There's a lot of emotion in this music, which you don't always get that in like metal. You know, you don't always yeah. feel that evoking tangible uh, emotions from you. But some of the bands we love, there are certain albums and songs, like I think Sweet Sister Mary is one of those ones that just, you could hear the ache. You just, you know, it, it's, you know, that pulls it out of you. This song, the chorus does. It's, it's, it's a great song. Yeah, it's one of the things that like pulled me into metal originally was bands like maiden with these really powerful soaring vocals and choruses and you mentioned like queen's and, and these emotional that powerful and, and sorcerer does that so well you know all these really memorable really melodic emotional uh choruses mm -hmm. and melodies you know god they do melodies so well and yeah. emotional melodies so well and man i'm a sucker for that i just love that stuff and they they do it all the time you know in mm -hmm. almost it's, every song yeah it's ingrained there's, in who they are. there's an emotional you know element to it mm -hmm. i think it shows yeah in their music as well that's why yeah. their, their music is so melodic it it's impossible to not have that you know those uh emotional part of mm -hmm. uh, component of their music so it, it makes perfect sense uh before we progress on i need to are you hearing the sound okay I don't yeah, know I'm hearing it I'm, fine. I want to make sure that I'm sharing my with the okay, got the sound on. Okay, it's already checked. You're not hearing it? 
No, I just wanted to make sure I I didn't check it again. Uh, oh, no, that's fine. Between tracks. I didn't know, like, once you check it, as long as it stays on, it's going to share. I was worried that I wasn't going to be sharing the audio for everybody else to hear it. Oh. That's all. So just double checking. All right. Woo. Uh, great way to open the album, guys. Um, really, really good song. I mean, I'm excited about this album. Do you know, did you do any kind of research into it? Uh, did, is this a concept album, like Lamenting of the Innocent? I have not um, done any research into the the yeah, the whole concept or if there is one or yeah it obviously has a theme i would say well i can't even say that i've I only heard the two songs so right i don't uh, know either i heard the first one i'm like yeah hmm, is this gonna be about the devil i mean this is all kinds of spooky stuff going on obviously so. you know yeah he's the fornicator so. so obviously what you know says it right in the first in the opening verse you know there you go yeah that's so I, I get the appeal. <laughs> Reign of the Reaper. So, yeah. That's right. It's good dark stuff. Eter uh, I mean, yes. Just, yes. just Curse of Medusa. It's I like, mean, yeah. It's like, it's like Dungeons of Dragons set <laughs> oh, to Doom, yeah. Doom Heavy Dude, mode. if these guys were around when we were playing D&D &D back well, in the Justin high school, does play. This we is just all we would have listened to. Yes, exactly. This, this is, is it. This is the soundtrack that we would have we would have had Life After Death and Sorcerer playing. Yeah, 100%. That's it. That's they it. would have been right in the mix with Dio. With yeah. Maiden, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I they mean, would fit right in beautifully. Yeah, and Justin plays D and D, so we just gotta get online sometime <laughs> and yeah. uh, and do some online gaming. Ah, right. yeah, yeah. This is amazing. Um, okay, track two. This is Rain, which of the I've Deep. heard, but you have not. So. I have not. I, I Morning Star is the only thing I've heard. So everything else is brand new. That's exciting. Here we go. Prepare your ears. <laughs> All right. songs are long too yeah Those six and a half minute song is that like a kind of a an organ or something in the background there yeah could be an organ or maybe just no. like a midi patch with the guitar yeah. right into the organ that's a nice little uh, touch yeah kind of gothic feeling mm -hmm. dark gothic yeah like a chorus Love that oh, guitar good. underneath, man. Yep. Oh, oh it's it's totally good. beautiful. God, Andrew's voice is so perfect for these guys. The perfect match. The time has come to repent our unspeakable deeds. The great riff, but that is a great riff. Yep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it really is. I, as much as I like Morningstar, I like this one even better. Like this yeah, it's just fucking great. Song. Darker and grittier. And yeah. yeah. Kind of punches your testicles punches. a little bit. Yeah. They got a new drummer too. Yeah. I told Justin. We were neither you know, a drummer in America. <laughs> <laughs> the 
There's that beautiful melodic chorus, man. Yeah, and that guitar in the back. Yeah. Like it sounds so beautiful. It really does. It's like it's we're dark talking about these dark, dark things, but it's like it's beautiful. Yeah. It's done. Oh, oh. That's a tip. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh, I didn't. I honestly didn't so think it was going to be I was worried. Then listen to this. Here comes that satanic choir again. Oh, those guitars! <laughs> so moody and heavy. Oh my god, it's fake! Bruce yeah. used it anyway. <laughs> yeah. But that's another bird. Guitars are smoking! Jesus. I wonder if he's been that time he's on the show. He's been I remember him saying how he's been laying down tracks and he's doing a lot of great promo. What's that? Guitars are awesome. I love this little death metal vocal element. Yeah, look at doing it. Having such a pretty sound to talk about these, these dark things. <laughs> yeah. these dark. I gotta say, I'm a little sad they faded right there because I was loving what he was doing with the yeah. vocals at the end, right as it starts to fade out. Like, oh, I love that part. Yeah. Keep it going, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. What a great song. Um, oh, my God. I, yeah. Like I said, I, I was worried that this album wouldn't be as good as Lamenting. I was like, oh, man. We, 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 we always, we talk about this every album. It's like, oh, man, what if the album's, what if it's not that good? Yeah, right. Uh, we were, you know, yeah. We, it's always, it's. Do we lie? We, or do yeah. We, 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 <laughs> what do we, what do we say? Right. Um, not an issue thus far no no it's been great and 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 i i just i think if anything i mean as as much as well i as a departure as lamenting is from earlier albums uh like in the shadow of the event or bird across i mean every album is good but lamenting kind of like oh I, I was thinking here's where they've really blossomed I, I think they're really coming into their own in this one though I Reaper. feel the same way. Yeah, like, yeah, and uh, Crowning the Fire King, I thought was a, a really big progression, mm -hmm. from Inverted Cross. You know, and yeah. uh, they went like production less, quality, sound, depth yeah. of music, right? It kind of went complexity. more just pure metal. Yeah, and there was a yeah. lot more, I think, depth and nuance and mm -hmm. layering to it. Uh, whereas, you know, and Shadow of the Inverted Cross was just straight doom. Yeah. And uh yeah, and then they just built on that in in lamenting even further. I feel like this so far almost sounds a little more like well, man, it's hard to it's kind of like every all of it, a culmination of everything yeah, they've done it's, so far. Yeah. It's it's heavy, it's elegant, it's beautiful, complex. Mm -hmm. 
Right. There's a complexity that I think only comes from having a, a seasoned band in this particular group here. Um, but musically, it, it's it's gotten. I mean, the quality of the sound production is is amazing. Uh, oh, those clean guitars are. You, mm -hmm. And everything's kind of subdued, you know. It's not a, in your face punch. Yeah. You get this this wash of of doom distortion, that's kind of. But then you have this beautiful harmonic guitars and choruses. I've heard choruses and the voices in this, you know, the choirs. It's like, oh my god, there's so much going on in this album. Um, yeah, the Sorcerer is a band that their their music, at least for me, it just it grabs you and carries you along with it. Like it, you just ride with the 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 wave you know that, mm -hmm. that their music is and the emotion yes. of it like they're yes. so good at evoking emotion yeah uh, like opeth i i look at the same mm -hmm. way opeth does the same thing for me in a lot of ways like yeah you you're just taken on a journey you know? yeah and these beautiful choruses and yeah. andrew's voice has never been better uh, oh, it's so, uh, it sounds so good uh, yeah like, it's how how are you doing this <laughs> you know uh yeah what else? yeah it's just like i I don't know they're they're it, it sounds like their music has just matured like a fine wine and it's just ready now it's like right there yeah it's I, it's, it's perfect yeah <laughs> like the the sound the mix like everything is just boom they've dialed it in just fine-tuned it to perfection yeah uh, yes it's, it's spectacular mm. um God. Yeah. All right. Um, the next track, track three. This is called "Thy Kingdom Will Come." Now you've not heard okay. this either. So, no, this next, is all new. Yeah. Now. So six songs are new for both of us. Ah, very nice. Ah, so exciting. Here we go. Thy kingdom will come. Now I know why they do that double picking. Yeah, they get like those sixteenth notes. Right. Story is continuing. Two concept albums back to back. I think I remember Justin saying it was going to be a concept album. Do you remember that? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just so high. I'm remembering false memories. <laughs> Ooh. Love the little yeah. guitar, the little cymbal accents there. Yeah. Speaker system must be way better than mine. Hearing the this is pretty much rocking in my ears right now. heavy than previous songs i mean it's not as like heavy metal that more energetic that, yeah prog and element is coming through more here I mean, this just makes me think of like just really good 80s metal oh yeah you yes know, it's just so 80s oh this this track has that feel 
That's what I'm saying, with the track. Yeah. Yeah, it was bright. God, we would have eaten this up with a fucking spoon in here back in the day. I'm glad we could eat it up now. No, oh. oh, come on, Anders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time to light it up again. Someone's been practicing. <laughs> no, it, they're great guitars anyway, but this is like extraordinary. They, 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 oh, they have. Man, the sound is so clean, too. The distortion is so beautifully clean. Right? Yeah. This is like this is like their single. This is like their hit radio, you know, friendly so single. Good. Yeah, it is. This one. This one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hard to take it all in. Yeah, I'm more just trying to react to it. Now. Yeah. This is a nice change of pace, uh, considering the light, the relative lightness of this track compared to the two previous, especially uh, Rain of the Reaper. My God, it was so heavy and dirgy. Yeah. Um, it's energetic. You got that 16th notes playing, -a 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 -a, you know, um, but the chorus, again, you got that kind of slowed tempo, almost like halftime, it feels, soaring, a soaring chorus, and the guitar solos, my God. Uh, and and just that heavy rhythm section just pushing us along you know great bass line wow, what a song yeah just love the the power the energy of it it's just it's and again the they the, the they always the melodic chorus there's these uh i mean the leads are just smoking they are going bonkers with the with the they have they have the like outdone themselves you know it, it's uh, like when we when we, when we I want to ask them. That's why I want to get everybody on board. Like, do you know when you've got something that's like, wow, this is really fucking good, you know, or you gotta feel it or does it not, yeah. do they not realize it till it's done? Right. Cause or... I've heard, I've heard like, like big songs that come out and like bands say that was a throwaway track. We didn't even want to record it. And it becomes like a big hit for them. They're like, be interesting. you know, yeah. but, but like when we talked to Jag Panzer, they kind of knew they had a sense going into it, like how good this album was going to be. Yeah. Going in, so I I I gotta I gotta think as as these songs come together, and they get fleshed out, and then you start hearing them. I I think you gotta know, like, yeah, this is a good album. You're like, oh, this is kicking ass. Yeah, yeah, you gotta know at some level. I think. I mean, so far we're three for three. I mean, yeah, and the fact that we know, have geez. five more songs to yeah. go through, like new sorcerer songs i'm, I'm just... almost afraid they can't keep this pace up you know i'm, <laughs> right. I'm starting to worry exactly. now like this is too damn good so far like yeah <laughs> can they keep we'll, good to keep it we'll up we'll find out let's okay oh, the, the that track, was so good track God. four another six and a half minute epic this is called eternal okay. sleep deep breath okay let's go This is, this is Opeth. She told me a lie. I thought it was Sweet Sister Mary. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like or both. No, uh, no, it's uh, the oh, empty, empty room. room. Yeah. <laughs> I think they played a smidge of this on their oh, did they? Facebook I, page. Just I like a few seconds. I purposely stayed away. Yeah, I'm like, nope, I don't listen. I, I think then it. that was it. I think that was all of it right there. He's tired. Here's one. 
Yeah, the guitars have done an amazing job of supporting the melody. Yeah. And the chorus. Oh. Yeah. Dude. It's like this big unexpected ballad. You know? You know something's coming though it's six and a half minutes long yeah something big's coming yes i feel a transition coming <laughs> boring solos Progression, I was not expecting. I never heard that before. No, no. no. Yeah, low man. That means the poor progression is so good. Yeah, that's, a, that's an organ. Right there, right? I'm not sure if it's a real organ. Organ, organ, or if they're running something through like a effect. So, layers are complex. Beautiful harmony. Hmm. Almost salmon. Oh. oh boy. Right in the ears. The guitar sound. The songs are beautiful. I wonder if they just have nubs for fingers now. We played they so well. Just... Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, guys. That tight. All that syncopation between the bass and the drum. Yeah. Too, a lot of double bass stuff. And the guys are kicking it.
beautiful song. Again, dark and beautiful at the same time. Mm -hmm. A really nice, like little, uh, little rest stop. You know, after yeah, three yeah. real rippers of <laughs> heavy. Yeah, I, you know? I was, it was nice. It was it was a surprise. I I, mm -hmm. I, I did not expect like a. I, I, I'm using the word ballad, but you but that you've heard those on every record, you know. Um, yeah, for sure. So and it's just. It's who they are. It's, it's in the, the writing it, but that what a beautiful song. Um, the lyrics yeah, again, are full of angst, and right. you can hear the ache in the, the way Anders hits these notes and sings it. Uh, a great, oh my, it's just those guitar solos. My God, um, every song is just phenomenal, <laughs> and and the sound, like it's it's so well mixed. Like the, the the distortion sounds they're using, they're not super crunchy. They're more like warm. And they're they're not like taking over the everything is mixed beautifully, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, really like aching, deep dark lyrics, you know, and really like the vocal, his vocal style there matched it really well. He, mm. he, uh, I think he brought out the emotion of the lyrics mm. really good. Oh yeah, on that track. Uh, oh man, uh, chops missing a good one. Uh, yeah yeah uh, screw him <laughs> wow uh okay we are four tracks in that Sorry, was chap. eternal sleep yeah yeah sucks to be you um well we are track five uh this is called curse of medusa <laughs> Driving, driving pulse to the base of the drum. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, wow. What's that? That was cool. Oh, this is a, this is a cruncher. Oh yeah. I can feel my abs getting stronger already. Oh, the halftime. Nice. That's going to be one you got to sing. You know you got to perform this live. Yes. So the people can chant. Ooh. That melodic is cool. Love it. Guys, how do you keep on doing this? Seriously. Looking good in that Swedish air. A lot of bands over here are getting. See this live. I mean, just that pulsing, people yeah. are clapping, something. It's just, it's an anthem. Pandemic, really is. I think they've elevated even more with the breath. Car is so clean. Yeah. So clean. Both of them. Yeah. 
nice touch on it too. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Almost Egyptian right there, yes. Nice touch. Oh, right through the half time. Double base work, free to do that. Oh, wow. That song felt the biggest. That had the biggest sound of any of, the, like you mentioned, kind of anthemic feel to it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like how they sandwiched eternal sleep between thy kingdom will come and curse of medusa i think that was a good choice like because mm -hmm. they're both very uh, up tempo high energy big uh, yeah curse of medusa that, that would sound really good live i think mm -hmm. yeah that one is that one's big um right and you, you could definitely have a lot of crowd interaction with that one but uh yeah there there's a I think a cleanness to the sound that makes it sound less heavy, uh, like heavy metal. Um, but it's, I think it's a, it's an enhancement in, in a way because the prog elements are coming through. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I'm looking forward to listening to this on some better headphones. Like these, mm -hmm. this headset isn't the greatest. So I've got some good, like bows and some good, really good earbuds that I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this some, uh, a few more listens with some really There's... good quality. Uh, headphones, but well, oh yeah, there's so much coming going on. Uh, I mean, there are layers and layers and layers of things, mm -hmm. uh, not just the melodic guitar and the vocals and the. You get this great rhythm section going, but then you have like choruses and voices and 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 you know, I think m multiple harmonies going on at the same time. So, uh, maybe an organ or something in the you know some kind of keyboard. So there is there's a lot going on this is a dense um dense album uh but it's all yeah so beautiful though it's like yeah dark and beautiful we're just gonna we're just gonna use that i guess what it is man that's just it it is yeah it's gonna get really richer fun. with every listen like i've already noticed that with the with morning star mm -hmm. so i've listened to that do dozens yes. of times already yes. and it, it yes it, it gets better every time you listen to it yeah uh it, you're not pro you're you've processed it enough to where you can appreciate Mm -hmm. subtleties exactly the exactly. things that these guys have been sweating over for the last you know eight mm -hmm. ten months um we're we're gonna you're gonna actually understand it and get to hear it too appreciate it Ooh. all right um that was that was great um track okay. six is called unveiling blasphemy and we are we're on our last three tracks here we go Oh yeah. Church bells and monks. Yeah, it's six minutes oh, twenty-four seconds long. Oh. Super heavy. Well this is dark. Yeah. Thank <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Stink face. Bass is, uh, Justin's bass line is really great. Evoke a lot of imagery. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yes. Yes. Like this, like Dante or Milton to come to life, you know? Solos the price of one. <laughs> I think I think guys have more fingers. Get out. Wow. Free Dream Theater. Yeah, there was like those sweeping, those yeah. sweeping notes that yeah. uh, Petrucci does a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a progressive theatrical saga. Yeah, it is huge. I don't know, sometimes you don't want to see how the sausage is made, but I just like imagine the first tracks, the raw, rough cut, just throwing it in, how layers and layers got to put on some alternate chords
They added a punch Listen to, to the, like, this is another song there. I don't want it to fade out right here. Yeah. Like, keep jamming. Keep mm -hmm. jamming for, like, another minute or so. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, I was really enjoying that. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I wanted more of that at the end. That was really good. Uh, I mean, what can we say that we haven't said already? Like, this album is blown it's more away. of, a, it's, of it's a, a, incredible vocals. Yeah. Guitars. That, that song really showcased, showcased the bass line, writes yeah. melodies mm -hmm. beautifully. Um, This is like a, it's like a soundtrack or it's like a movie. You know, it's, this is like fantasy. It's like Lord of the Rings all kind of coming out. Uh, this beautiful, epic, theatrical, uh, you know, it's, it's like a movie being played out. And it's this huge oh, scope. Man. Very sweeping. Yeah. We're running out of words, guys. And it's your fault. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to think of something. Yeah, so we could sound like we're I somewhat, haven't... So, somewhat intelligent. <laughs> like that I haven't said already. It's, it's just... It's... There's it's the dark it's dark and beautiful you know it's like it keeps on coming into that and there there is a the, it really is yeah it is it is a the choruses the layers of voices it it just brings it to a whole different level it's not just it would sound very different without those things in there so we've we've kind of elevated ourselves from just the songs to like these giant productions it's you know, the the theatrical element of this adds to the kind of the grandeur of it you know yeah this, and these dark choir choirs yeah, kind of yeah. mixed in that bring it this sort of dark gothic mm -hmm. you know or dark deep you know a lot of this religious themes in here and like mm -hmm. so it just adds to that dark beauty of it you know yeah <clears throat> yeah exactly <sighs> I, what more is there to say mm -hmm. they um, certainly captured the that whole vibe in this oh, totally. album throughout yes definitely most definitely um the only sad part about all this is that we've have only two more songs to go. Well, we've run out of words anyway, so that's yeah, so that's good. Yeah, before we're gonna we just sit here and drool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of drooling, this is track seven. This is called okay. "The Underworld." Oh shit! I'm a burner. All right, a real ripper. <laughs> oh, now we're on the half Ooh, loving that. The galloping, kind of quasi galloping. Love that gallop. Quasi -galloping. That gallop. God damn it. This makes me want to get this fucking good. horn all the time. <laughs> Is a very classic sorcerer sounding song. It is. You know, that riff, and it, it's like identifiable, like immediately, you know, this is sorcerer. Guitars in the back, very busy. 
melodic. Another infectious chorus. Yeah. doing his voice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. Every one of these silvers has been fucking amazing. They did this in six eight time in purple. Six. Oh man. man! Holy shit, that was good. I'm really looking forward to getting my CD and sitting down with the lyrics and really reading mm -hmm. through them and getting a better sense of the, the story and the themes and stuff that's going on. Yeah. It's, it's hard to like take in all the lyrics and try to hear the music too. Sure. For the first time through. So I really, oh, yeah, you can't looking for it, but you know, you're picking up bits and pieces and some of the imagery and stuff and it's so good. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's epic. It's, it's just epic. Mm -hmm. In the grand scope, I mean, here we have the, the the fall of Lucifer. You know, I mean, it's it's what what greater story can you ask for? You know, <laughs> yeah, um, right. And from his point of view, I mean, so it's definitely borrowing from Milton. You know, uh, and and uh, I think there's where a lot of that uh, emotion comes in, that darkness and that angst and anger and and pain yeah. is wailing through because there's this, you know, from the all the the story that contained in here, um, but mm. that. Mm. That was a very challenging song to play. I, I, as the drummer, I'm, you know, where I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> play that quick double bass because it's in a six eight time. It's not eight. It's like you know, it's a it's like a triplets. You know, but it's it's a very challenging, interesting beat for that song. Uh, time signature. But, um, wow, I mean the solos were great again. Phenomenal solos, soaring choruses. Um, we're repeating ourselves. What more do you, what can we say? Yeah. I mean, all the song, all the elements are there. They're all done beautifully. And <laughs> every song has been a blast. I mean, yeah, I don't know. The fantastic what, what a, album. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And it's, it's been so, it's been so consistent. Mm -hmm. Every song, like the quality of songs has been consistent. There hasn't been one that's like, you know, there's no turd in a punch bowl here. There is not. Uh, there. Right. There is not. I mean, we are so used to the how music coming out as, and there's bound to be one stinker song on there uh there hasn't a stinker uh yeah. so i mean that was always the case back in the day there was always yeah. one stinker it's always a filler the track it's like yeah. yeah for some reason there was always a stinker right it's like right. well nine out of ten ain't bad you know Right. Um, you know, right. There was always yeah. a gangland on every album, you know. <laughs> I like gangland, but um, ah! <laughs> what do I know? Stinker. Yeah. I'm the turd in the punch bowl. Turd. You're the Montag in the <laughs> maybe, punch bowl. If you're the turd. <laughs> you ever think about that? Yeah. Every day. <laughs> every day. Um, I'm going to wipe myself uh, clean of this. Uh, yeah yeah it's just this album has been so good it's been so consistent in in the the theme the the writing 
the the epic emotional appeal uh that that's kind of run rampant through the songs i mean it's just it is such a good album um guys yeah guys. i'm starting to like my brain is just breaking at this point like i'm kind of <laughs> i'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed like i'm you know trying to take it all in i think my brain's just full at this point at this yeah. point just well kinda, we got we got we got like, to fit one more song in here knock something dumb out that you don't need anymore in here like patrick you know with some drool <laughs> hanging down like <laughs> pinky out pinky out, pinky out. <laughs> all right well, this is track uh, eight um i can't believe we've gone to the last uh song already uh wow this whew, album, i'm overwhelmed this album is going to be one that i think you're going to want to just play as a whole you know some not every album you don't have to play but some albums sound better when you when they are played in their entirety and i think Agreed. just like with sorcerers uh you know previous record i think this one because it's a concept album i uh i think that's probably the best for it. but it is it is an experience um and we got six and a half more minutes to go with track eight this is break of dawn Oh, doomy. Yeah. Bring in the doom. Yep. Ooh, cool little riff there. Yeah. It's Ooh, that's reminiscent cool. of one of the earlier riffs. That Egyptian one, almost like yeah. Lost our hope, eternal darkness. For how long will it last? We are cool. Big sound. That just gets you. Ooh, that just gets man. you right in the gut, man. Ooh. It's so emotional. There's so much really is. pain at times. And yeah. Dude. There's 25 people playing. Like, the chorus of voice is like, it's so cool. Yeah. So that organ and keyboard and whatever it is. Filling in nice.
don't want to talk. I don't want to talk over these beautiful poems. Yeah. Suckers for double leak of the carb. Yeah, it really does feel like Spiff and Murray at times, doesn't it? Yeah. About the sloppiness of Yannick. So rich. What a great way to close it. Oh, we cast. <laughs> so um that's that's beyond bonkers. I mean Yeah. How do you sum up all that? Uh, you uh, can't. I mean that this album was an uh, epic. It was a journey. It it was majestic. It it was very theatrical. Uh it, it told us a, a, a great story. It 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 it's it's big. I mean, the, the scope of the story is big, so the sound is big. And every song sounded full. There was nothing out of place, uh, you know, like didn't sound weird. The solos were amazing. And the emotion, the emotion this album has, it mm -hmm. was just, it, it surprised me. I mean, their music has that. It's part of who they are. But this and their musicianship has just gone up a, a level. Like just, just, they are just getting better and better and better. I don't know how you do, how do you do that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Guys, I don't, we're asking you, man. How, how do you guys keep on getting to, better? Yeah, seriously, dudes. <clears throat> um, uh, we're almost speechless. Yeah, it makes for good podcast. Yeah, I mean, it feels like a, a yeah, we're really really articulate, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it really does feel like a step up in every way. You know, like a, another little refinement of their of everything they do and everything yeah. they do well. Mm -hmm. uh, everything they do well is beautifully illustrated uh, in every song on this album. You know, dark beauty, dark and yeah. beautiful. Yeah, seriously, the melody, the majesty of it, the the darkness. Um, yeah, yeah. with the the doom and the the um, with the the progressive elements and. It, everything's here and everything's yeah done well yeah i don't i don't know what else to say about it uh this, um this is yeah album this... i'll be listening to for a long long time to come. i i i was you know again we like these guys i i was really scared honestly that it wouldn't be as good you know that's the fear i think with any band because we've been mm -hmm. burned by bands we've loved you know for every seventh son there's a you know, but, yeah. 11, you know, <laughs> right. So, uh, you, you just never know. Um, mm. this, um, I think musically, lyrically, lyrically, it's every bit as good as lamenting, which I think is a fantastic album. Love that album. But the, the scope is grander in this one. It is, it is a just huge story going on here. 
um yeah i, I really can't wait to to delve into that to that more yeah the story sonically rich um every track was just good it either had that dirge kind of going there was a couple rippers uh really some emotional ballads but the emotion is in every song from the mm -hmm. melodies and the choruses i mean just a, every every song has this great haunting chorus and that last one that's gonna i'll be sticking with that one tonight break up uh -huh. dawn he hits those high notes i'm not even gonna try uh <laughs> but i'm like i'll be hearing that all night you know, I'll be this this yeah. this album is going to stick with me, and I can't wait to like hear it again and again. Yeah, I'm thrilled. This is why I love this band. You know, they they keep doing everything that they do well. And here's a lot more of it, and I'm going to yeah. enjoy this for hours and hours and hours and get yeah. And they just signed a record deal, months. you know, with Metal Blade. Um, so we're, yeah, we're, we're going to have more goodness coming our way. Uh, mm -hmm. guys. My album Please. is on the way, so yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah. popping it into Excellent. my ear holes at work. For, nice. Uh, I'll uh, I'll be getting. It's gonna some get me through too. a lot of long shifts. Mister Biggs is sending some stuff stuff my way, oh. so you know, because the talent got to keep the talent happy. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you pointing at? What are you pointing yeah, at? I um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, guys, <sighs> we we got it. I just want to have you guys come on, all of you. Um great album really really great you guys should be proud of yourselves for you out there listening if you liked it go out and buy it it drops today go out and get it if if your record store doesn't have it then you can go to sorcerer's go to metal blade record that's store. where i got it go to metal blade i went to I sorcerer's think... but it was all uh, it was all there i couldn't find the english section so oh but I, I got it on metal blade like i followed their link on facebook and yeah i couldn't find how to put it all in english so but yeah uh they had a they had a, a link to metal blade so that's okay. where i got it that'll that'll do it yeah so that, and they'll probably works. have it on their own probably through Bandcamp or something they'll, you know they have their own merch store probably. but for now i'm sure metal blade but go out and buy it um justin thank you again for letting us have this advanced copy what an amazing album uh kelly martin thank you for supporting us at at um metal blade we really appreciate your continued support and all the music that you send us our way um just you know it's just we're beyond grateful uh i don't know what Ooh, to say yeah. dread bull this album was just really thanks just for amazing. all the goosebumps guys many many goosebumps so good on that album. so good um yeah i want to hear it again because i think this album is going to after about the you're gonna it's gonna get richer and richer with every listen and the story once you know the lyrics better the story is going to be there and then you'll be able to pick yeah. up all the things that we missed on the first time or second time or third time this is one of those albums that it's going to be rich the 50th time you listen to it, it you're will. still going to be going oh yeah this is just great yeah i need to listen more i i truly did get overwhelmed there like you know at some point like you know i i it's all it's too much to compute all at one time yeah i need to break this up a little bit and you know listen to like three tracks maybe uh, over mm -hmm. and over and over and really get get a feel for them break it down into some uh bite-sized chunks that my brain can process because you know as a good technical writer a lot going on up here so that's for damn sure yeah you know you yeah. know that oh i know <laughs> it doesn't for, take for much decades. to overwhelm me yeah you know Yep. It's a hamster running on a wheel. <laughs> but, oh, can only take um, so much. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Wow. Um, this is great. This is great. I, Wrap I, it up before we just yeah. start looking stupid. I know. Very even well, more than we start. even, even yeah. more than we normally do. <laughs> hey, you can find Heavy Metal Horror on unsaneradio.com. Listen to full episodes or download to your device. You can find us on Facebook, Heavy Metal Horror Podcast. On Instagram, look for Montag Lewis. One word, our YouTube page, Heavy Metal Horror Podcast. If you're watching and listening, that's where you're at. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know someone who'd like our show, tell them about us. This has been Montag, Master of Illusion. And Patrick Star. <laughs> You've been watching the dumbed version. <laughs> of heavy metal horror for dummies. <laughs> this is Doug Helbring, and you have been listening to Heavy Metal Horror, the best podcast that you've never heard before. <laughs>